Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe, and it's match day minus one and day to the final international friendly game of this international break. Ghana have taken on Nigeria already. It's time to face Uganda, and it's time for me to predict my possible starting 11. And uh, we have uh, the disadvantage of uh, Jerome Opoku not being able to play in this second game. I was uh, pretty much impressed with him, as I said in my uh, review of the game. I felt that the second half was much better for Ghana and uh, probably Nigeria should have been more clinical and ended the game in the first half when they uh, dominated a lot. It's time for Otuado and the boys uh, to uh, possibly get a win here versus Uganda who most likely will not be pushovers. They would want to prove a point in this international break and uh, Ghana after that loss uh, for the first time in 18 years. Uh, to Nigeria would uh, hope uh, to get back to winning ways. It's been a long time Ghanaian celebrated a win. Well, in the African Cup of Nations, it's, it's been way too long. But it's it's really a team-building process that Otoado is uh, looking to do. And forcing Amal Kwa, he says he's someone who can be relied on in its post-match pressure. The boys uh, were positive in the Latin light of the fact that we were man down and as i said being a man down probably gave us some impetus and as we dominated nigeria and the dying members of the game and could have easily gotten an equalizer it is what it is it was a loss so today we're going to talk about the uh, look at the final training session uh, which was held and the possible uh, starting 11. so you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and click on that notification bell to get more updates we'll jump right into it and first of all uh, look at the possible starting level before we have a look at the final training session pictures and videos and in goal i will change that one up a bit i was impressed uh, by Lawrence atizigi but it's uh, international friendly and we need to see a lot of the players if we are assessing our strength and weaknesses we need to do that i would give a chance for joe walakot to be in post for this one here at right back we had ali Dusedu versus nigeria uh, but uh, he was good uh, but i was impressed uh, with Tariq as well when he came on i want to see Tariq lamte starting here versus uganda i think he'll provide a small threat going forward uh, as Alidu probably lacks in that respect a little bit. So Tariq Lamte for me at right back. At center of defense, I'll go with Kasim Nuhu Adams, who came in in the second half for Nigeria. I expect him to start here. And I'm expecting him to be partnered with Mohamed Salisu. Yes, he joined a day before the Nigeria game. I knew for a fact that he might not be able to play that one, uh, owing to the fact that it's just a day two. So it's, it's going to be quite tricky for him uh, to... Uh, be involved in action uh, just coming in 24 hours to the game so i'm expecting him to partner kasim nuhu adams here as uh, we play uganda in the final game of the international break patrick bozo yes patrick bozo at left back for me here and i'll go with salis abdul samed for sinamankwa and abu francis or papa idrisu edmond ado mix but i'll settle with abu francis as i said it's an international friendly we are looking to assess our strengths and weaknesses we've seen baba we've seen edmond and we know what they are about let's see what abu francis would be about for us here at the right wing of the 4-3-3 attack i think jordan will captain the side and i don't expect that to change for our toado Abdul Fatah Wissahaku will be on the left wing. And then Antoine Selom Semenyo for me up front. Yes, he had a little bit of a bad game in terms of missing vital chances. But then again, he got us the penalty and could have easily gotten us the equalizer, if not for some brilliant save from the Nigerian Super Eagles goalkeeper. Football can be a funny old game. You can be a hero at the same time a villain. Antoine has not been a sharp shooter. Uh, he's not been a sharp shooter if you look at his records, but he has been getting uh, the goals from time to time. He has to know that with international football, he has to a bit be a bit more clinical because it can cost you a lot. With league football, probably not so much because it's pretty long. But with international football and tournament football, if you are not on your A game, your team could suffer dire consequences. And Antoine Selom Semenyo 
Uh, unfortunate uh, that versus Nigeria, he could not find the back of the net despite being put through on a couple of occasions. But that is my starting 11 uh, to face the Ugandan cranes of Uganda. And uh, historically, I think versus Uganda, we've played them in a World Cup qualifier in the lead up to the 2018 Russia World Cup, which we did not qualify. We played a 0 0 draw with them. A uh, goal was disallowed. It was under controversial circumstances. I think the date was 6th October 2017. I remember that date very well. It was a game in which we're fighting for our lives, hoping to get to Russia 2018. And the controversial decisions from the referee uh, got us uh, probably uh, booted out of that tournament. Uh, we came back in 2022 in Qatar. It will be an interesting game for sure. And uh, we'll bring you highlights as and when we get them. We'll review them and we'll get you fans' reactions when we can. So that has been it for today. We'll have a look at the final training session for the Ghana national team. Uh, they have warmed up adequately for this one here. And Otto and his boys will know uh, that a win is not negotiable uh, versus Uganda. We have to get a win or an improved performance from start to finish. Let me know what you think in the comments box. Drop your predictions in the comments box. What do you think will happen in the game versus Uganda? What are your expectations? Nigeria at 8 p.m. GMT will be taking on Mali themselves. They are also in Marrakesh, Morocco. Same venue for the games. So we'll be keeping close tabs on them as well on our second channel, SF Sahara Football Extra. Let us know what you think will happen tomorrow when the two teams go head to head. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week.